540,000 people are predicted to cast their vote. The Secretary of State's office says that would set a midterm general election record. Hopefully uh, we can change it around, turn it around anyway. We just need people to get out and vote. That's what you got to do, the blue. We need to turn it blue. We want Trump's agenda to continue making our country great again. And, you know, if the, if the Congress goes back to the Democrats, that's, that's going to be a big problem. But why are the numbers so high? On the Democratic side of things, you have a lot of voters who have been fired up since the 2016 election about getting a chance to vote for a Democratic Congress. On the other side of the aisle, you have a lot of Republican voters who see this as a referendum on the Trump administration and want to turn out and express their support for the White House. And so how will each race stand? up and CD1 Galderi says right now it looks like that seat will remain blue with Chris Pappas winning over Eddie Edwards. There have been a couple of polls that suggest this could be a close race um, but I think Pappas has advantages in terms of fundraising in terms of name recognition. For CD2 Galderi says the political pulse is beating in favor of Annie Custer over her opponent Steve Negron. She is um, in a position, thanks to her fundraising relative to uh, Steve Negron, where she is probably feeling very comfortable going into Election Day. And Galderi says Governor Sununu should also feel comfortable about holding his spot in the State House over opponent Molly Kelly. He's led in every poll that's been released of the race. Um, you know, there are Democrats who argue that this race is tightening up. Um, and if you had, you know, really massive Democratic turnout, um, perhaps you could see an upset. But I think, you know, Sununu is probably favored going into Tuesday. And Galderi says besides those three races, people will also want to keep an eye on the other local ones that are happening, including those for the Executive Council and the State House and State Senate races. We're live here in Manchester. I'm Tim Callery, WMUR News 9.